Rogers Show, starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. More coffee? Thank you. How about you, Roy? More coffee? Yes, ma'am. Roy. Dale. Bandits. Bandits? Where? On Dead Man's Mountain. I was a driving Nellie Bell down the cross patch trail that leads over Dogleg Ridge through the Pelter's Gulch. You know where Nellie Bell had that flat tire that time, remember? Yes, yes. That's where you saw the bandits? No, that's where I was riding. Then as I drove out of Peddler's Gulch down that bumpy trail to Sweetwater, where Nellie Bell blew her gasket that time, remember? Yes, I remember, but get to the point. Did you or did you not see any bandits? No, but this feller, Kearney... Who is Kearney? Who's Kearney? Why, he's the feller who got thrown when his horse got scared at Nellie Bell at the fork of the trail. Did he see the bandits? Of course, that's just what I'm trying to tell you. Well, what happened? He got shot. Where? On Dead Man's Mountain. Roy means was Kearney badly wounded. He was shot in the arm. But you said he was thrown from his horse. That's when I picked him up and brought him to town. I left him over at Doc Leffingwell's to get patched up. I don't believe they were bandits. Bandits would starve to death up there. But Kearney said that they were bandits that attacked him. Did you tell the sheriff? No, I couldn't. The sheriff's out lead a posse somewhere. I think I'll look into this. I'll go with you. No, I'd better go alone. Thanks, Dale. What's the matter, Pat? You look unhappy. Because I'm so miserable. What's the matter? Oh, it's fate, I guess. Fate? You know, Dale, I've always felt that I was born to be rich. What makes you think so? Well, I have a feeling for money. I know how to spend it. And do you know something? I've been close to being rich many a time. What happened? Fate always stepped in and messed me up. That's too bad, Pat. Oh, it seems like every time I get a chance to make some extra money, why, something always happens and I get left out. Well, maybe it won't always be like that. Sure it will. It's fate. Well, even Roy refused to take me out to look for them bandits, and I could sure use that reward money. You didn't tell Roy there was any reward money. Well, maybe there isn't. But there should be, and if there is, I could sure use it. Never mind, Pat. You just keep listening for opportunities knocking. You'll make it yet. Hey, maybe that's opportunity now. No, that's Bullet. You'll have to feed him. Come on, Bullet. Here, boy. Are you hungry, Bullet? Hi, folks. Well, if it ain't Big Jim and he's all dooted up. Yes, it's a good that. to see you again, Mr. Moran. Oh, it's good to see you again, Dale, Pat. Say, how's the world been treating you? Ain't had to treat me, Pat. I've been paying my own lately. And while I'm here, I want to settle up for all them meals you stake me to. Oh, Mr. Moran, I can't remember how much they were. Oh, I remember to the penny. Wow. Wow. Looks like you've been striking it rich. Sure did, Pat. And when opportunity knocked this time, I was a-listening. <laughs> Gold? Nope. Oil? Nope. Well, then, then what? Uranium. Uranium? Mm-hmm. Say, what does that look like? I've never seen any. Oh, here. There, it looks like this. Well, that looks like any ordinary rock to me. Well, now, that's where this little gadget comes in. What's that? It's a Geiger counter. What do you have to count Geigers for? Oh, Pat, you're a card. Now, this little gadget shows you which rock's got uranium and which ain't. Look, I'll show you. This rock looks pretty much like the other one, but it ain't got no uranium. How do I know? Because this little gadget tells me so. When I turn it on, nothing happens. But when I point this counter at the uranium ore, look what happens. You mean all you have to do to find uranium and get rich is to buy yourself one of these Geiger counters and go around and point it in the rocks till it buzzes? Yeah, that's a general idea. 
Well, even I could do that. <laughs> Where did you make your strike, Mr. Moran? Up on Dead Man's Mountain, ma'am. And there's plenty more big strikes to be made up there. You can mark my words. Say, uh, would you sell me your little Geiger counter? Well, now, Pat, you can understand I feel mighty sentimental about this particular Geiger counter. I'd rather part with Pedro my burrow. I'd turn down a thousand dollars for him. You can get one of your own, Pat. And that's just what I'm gonna do. you, Kearney? Uh, Kearney got careless or over-anxious. He tried to jump a claim while the owner was still on the property. I saw the man leave. How did I know he was coming back so soon? Shot you, huh? Yeah. And you should have left me at the docks till my arm healed. It's only a flesh wound. Besides, you tell everything you know. I didn't tell him anything. You gave him your right name, didn't you? You stirred up interest in this area by saying bandit shot you. Well, I couldn't say that I shot myself, could I? In my gun arm? You could have thought of something else. Now you lie low until I tell you. I don't know what you're so sore about, Stanton. Kearney goofed and he got shot, that's all. That ain't all, Randolph. Thanks to Kearney shooting his mouth off, Roy Rogers smelled trouble up here and he's out looking for it. Well, we'll let him find it. I'll even lead him to it, right through Coyote Wash. Ambush? Stanton, you think of everything. All right, let's mount up. you been? I'm sorry, Dale, but it took a little longer than I thought. Did you see Kearney? No, he'd left the doc's office a little while before I got there with someone else. I followed their trail for a while, but I lost him in the foothills. You should have taken Bullet. He never loses a trail. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I want to talk to Pat. Maybe he's settled down enough to give me more details. Oh, Pat isn't here. He's gone prospecting. What does he know about prospecting? Well, I don't know, but Big Jim Moran was in and he struck it rich in uranium. He got Pat so excited, Pat went out and bought himself a Geiger counter, a pack horse, and all sorts of equipment. And now he set out to seek his fortune. Well, good luck to Pat, but what did he use for money to buy all that equipment? Now, you're not going to believe this, Roy, but he sold Nellie Bell. Sold Nellie Bell? I wouldn't have let him do it if I'd known what he was going to do. But you know how impulsive Pat is. He just couldn't wait to start that uranium hunt. Where's he prospecting? Up at Dead Man's Mountain. That's where they're having all this trouble. Mr. Rogers? I'm Roy Rogers. Mr. Rogers, I've got to talk to you. I just saw a couple of bandits shoot a lone prospector up on Dead Man's Mountain. What'd the prospector look like? I don't know. I was too far away to see. I went back to look for him later, but I couldn't find him. What do you mean you went back later? Well, you see, Mr. Rogers, this isn't the first trouble we've had up there. I didn't get a chance to help the prospector, but I did chase the bandits, and I discovered their hideout. Maybe you better show me the way. Come on. And you can count on you, Mr. Rogers. Coyote wash. Come on, let's go. Well, just a minute. Let's stretch our legs. All right. You know exactly where you're going, don't you? Sure I do. If I didn't, I wouldn't know how to take you there. I've been thinking. About what? Your horse. Now, what about my horse? You arrived at the cafe at a full gallop. Found it leather all the way. I don't think you did. Your horse was too fresh. What else have you been thinking? I've been thinking that Coyote Wash would be a good place for an ambush.
lot of questions I'd like to ask you, but I guess they'll have to wait. I was right about that ambush bullet. You stay here with Trigger until I call you. gets here. We haven't got much time. Now remember, this claim is mine. Hey. All right, now, I tell you, ride into town and stake your claim. There may be some shooting, but don't let anything stop you. But, but don't take time to argue. Get going. Yeah. Rogers didn't get away. Get around and back up. choice. You got nothing to look forward to, Rogers. I don't see why you're whistling. I like the tune.
in the bullet. Come on, boy. Come on. Don't jump on me, bullet. Easy, boy. Get the rope. The rope. No, not that one. Go to the wall. Go to the wall. The wall. Get it. Untie it, bullet. Attaboy. Pull on it. <laughs> Thanks, partner. Untie it, boy. Attaboy. Pull on it, boy. Thanks again, partner. It's a pretty fancy bit of rigging, bullet. I can't wait to catch up with those fellas. Come on, boy. Thank you, too, Trigger. We're not through yet. Take this to Dale. Understand? Take it to Dale. for a minute. You got my note. Why, Bullet was really excited. <laughs> Take care of him, fellas. It's just like I'm telling Dale. Fate is always stepping in and messing me up. One second I'm a millionaire, and then bluey, everything goes wrong just like it always does. Well, cheer up, Pat. Cheer up? I'll guarantee you I'm the most miserable human on earth. Why, I don't even have Nellie Bell anymore. Pat, close your eyes. Hmm? Close your eyes. And keep them closed. Now. 
Nellie Bell. Nellie Bell! Oh, 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 oh Nellie Bell! What is she doing here? You were so busy being miserable that you forgot all about something that would make you happy. What's that? Why, today is your birthday. So it is. So we bought Nellie Bell back. For our birthday present. Oh, thanks, Dale. Thanks, Roy. Oh, Nellie Bell. I've got her back and I'll never be unhappy again. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy trails to you, keep smiling until then, happy trails to you.